Welcome back to Terror by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, after that calming budget reading, <laughs> my my energy is really mellow today. <laughs> the normal amount of hyperactivity and snark seems to be tamped down. That's fine. Maybe we needed a nice calm energy reading on the budgets. Um, the other big news that I wanted to cover, especially before Friday, is that it's there's a hot rumor that Judge Engeron is going to uh, lay out his civil trial ruling against uh, Donald Trump. Um, it got delayed. It was supposed to happen at the end of uh, the end of January, maybe the first couple of days in February. Jan the end of January was his target. But then the news broke that Alan Weisselberg was in conversations with prosecutors about. Um, perjury charges in the Judge Engeron case. And so now Judge Engeron had to sort of stop what he was going to do and asked uh, the attorney, uh, asked the opinion of Letitia James if she thought he should, if he should delay the ruling, taking this into account. She's like, you know, we're fine. Go ahead and rule on it. And then he asked uh, Trump's attorneys, Lena Haba and Chris Keiss, I think his name is. If um, they had any knowledge about uh, uh, Alan Weisselberg uh, basically perjuring himself on the stand, because there are ethical considerations, the, the lawyers that need uh, by New York ethics laws, the lawyers need to report what they knew in regards to this. And Alina Haba basically said, "Well, I'm the uh, I'm the civil attorney, not the criminal attorney, so this." This doesn't involve me at all. And um, she said she talked with an, her ethics consultant and they said she doesn't have to uh, answer any further, which doesn't answer the judge's question. And uh, the other lawyer basically said the judge was a conspiracy theorist and he was this, that, and the other thing. So <laughs> they're not exactly doing themselves any favors in this court case by pissing off the judge. So... Um, now, when I've read on this in the past, you know, going through the whole historical reviews, um, I think on the first readings I was getting, it was like five to six hundred million dollars. And just to tamp it down, I was saying, you know, five hundred million plus or minus one hundred million dollars. And even if it was a you know, hundred million dollar settlement, that's a that's a whole lot of cash. You know what I mean? Um, and even the, the original two hundred fifty million dollars, a quarter of a billion dollars, that's a lot of money. Um, but when I did readings later on, I was getting something close, closer to $700 uh, million that Trump was going to have to pay. Um, I'm wondering if, you know, and I want to ask again, because is that the actual Judge Ngoron uh, civil trial penalties for this one case? Is it also, or is that number including like the E. Jean Carroll um, defamation cases? This thing he's ruling on, that $50 million loan that Trump bought up and then started taking tax breaks for when he should have been declaring it as income. So, you know, he's double dipping. Not only is he not declaring it income, which means he has to pay tax on it because it was a loan that was forgiven, but he took it on as a debt. So he actually wrote it off. <laughs> That's like the ultimate. In that is just so corrupt. <laughs> oh, man. I can't even begin to describe just the 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 audacity that this man has that just that the um now audacity is the right word there's simpler words to use but that word that word works just fine so what am i want to know i want to find out what's the energy around judge and garan for this um upcoming ruling which could be on friday and then we'll look at dollar amounts and stuff like that okay Entertainment purposes only. May we be entertained. What's the energy around Judge Ngoron and this delay that we've had due to Alan Weisselberg's uh, negotiation, plea negotiations for perjury in the case? Okay, so we've got the Seven of Wands. There's a seven card for your 700 million. Um, he's been battling through all the arguments, all the fraud. You know, there is. it's like there's just so much fraud here. That he has to look at everything, consider everything, and then and again, one of the things that has been frustrating us as viewers, but he's trying to make his 
ruling so solid that it can't be challenged later on. So he's trying to come up with a ruling that is um, going to be uh, appealable proof. That's and which is why he's been taking his time. Crossed with the moon card. Interesting. So the moon card's about mysteries and things that are hidden. Uh, the moon card is the moon eclipsing the sun. The sun is shining the truth. The moon blocks the truth. So in some ways, he's fighting through the mystery and the fraud and the, the hidden funds that are in that are the Trump org. And that probably also is why he has to take his time and has been taking his time to come up with this ruling. Underneath it all, he's 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 about ready. You know, he's looking at his uh, deadline, whether um, it is at the end of this week or not. He's getting close to uh, he's or I should say he's been not only looking at this case and getting ready to announce it, but he's also looking towards the appeal. And he's looking towards a second case because of this latest tax fraud. The other thing I think he's doing underneath it all is he's trying to future proof his ruling by um, the, the Barbara Johnson, I believe it was the, uh, the retired judge that he had basically overseeing this. I think that's the other part of this is that he's looking at extending her, um, her powers and her oversight to the Trump company until they can really figure out what's going on. What they've got right now is a real strong idea that it's nothing but shady stuff going on there. And then this is going to give them even more insight as to what's going on with uh, Donald Trump and his uh, company. In the past, you got the Nine of Wands. Whew, what a trial that was, huh? Um, he was under assault. His, his clerk was under assault. The DA was under assault. Everybody was under assault. Um, he saw behaviors from lawyers that were was completely unacceptable. Uh, he put up with a lot of stuff in this battle because, again, he this is the penultimate battle. So he knew that you know there would be an he had to get through this case. He had to get through an appeal. So there's two battles there. But now it looks like from uh, from uh, Judge Barbara Johnson, there's going to be another case that he might be overseeing with that $48 million forgiven loan by Deutsche Bank, I believe it was, that Trump then declared instead of as a forgiven loan, you'd have to pay tax on that $48 million. Now, mind you, if you had to pay federal and state tax, eh, you're looking at a good, uh, I don't know if, if, if I think corporations have a lower tax bracket, but you're looking at a good 30, 35% of that would be paid in taxes, call it a third. So it'd be like $16 million in taxes. And not only did he not pay the 16 million, he took a six, he took the, he took a tax break on it. He took it, he, he declared it as interest that he was paying. So, you know, he's saving hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars on this loan on his taxes instead of taking his at income. So you're looking at probably you know, up to $32 million in fraud just on that deal alone. And, you know, with penalties and stuff like that, there's another $50 million that he could be paying. Or I should say disgorging here. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, the current situation is King of Swords. Yeah, oh, this is not good. This is not the guy. This is not the guy you want looking at your business and <laughs> saying, okay, here we go. Um, I think this is a combination of things. I think this is going to be the financial hit that Trump's going to get. It's going to be pretty ruthless, but it's also the, the end of his companies. It's going to be, no, it's, it's going to spell out. It might just spell out how the companies get dissolved. This is, this is going to be a harsh, harsh ruling. There's no love or emotion in this guy. This is going to be a tough, very black and white ruling. Things will be made very, very clear. That doesn't mean that Trump won't try to obfuscate. He'll appeal it, of course. But, you know, when he appeals it, he has to come up with the money to appeal it. And he doesn't have it. So he's going to have to go to outside sources to get that money if he wants to appeal. The overarching energy 
is the Knight of Pentacles. I think this is Trump being disgorged and then Trump has to leave. If Trump wants to make money, he won't be doing it in New York because he's lost his business licenses, his businesses have been dissolved, and he's told to leave. You know, I would say take your money and go, but it's going to be you're going to leave your money and you're going to go. If you want to make money, you're going to do it in Florida. You're not doing it here. It's going to be a big money message come from the King of Swords here. The overarching, the lesson to be learned is the uh, Nine of Swords. This is the overarching energy. This is the lesson to be learned is the Nine of Swords. The nightmare begins. This is Trump's worst nightmare. He is going to be broke. He doesn't know where the money is going to come from to pay this. He doesn't have the money to even fight this in an appeal. He, I think Trump doesn't know which way he's going to go with this. And of course, he's going to cry victim. But this is going to be a really stressful event, which you know, could lead to, you know, Donald Trump doesn't exactly take good care of himself now, does he? And, you know, he's under a lot of stress. I, I don't know if he, I can't remember if he has hypertension or not with high blood pressure. It wouldn't surprise me, right? Um, this could lead to health issues with him. Just stress-related health issues. I would at least expect... Um, the explosion on Truth Social will be one of, of will be of epic meltdown proportions that we probably have never seen before. Outcome is the Page of Swords. Now, normally I would link these two that the King of Swords becomes a Page of Swords. So this could be um, Judge Engeron. Uh, you know, talks a good, it might talk a good uh, battle, but maybe he's kind of, he only hits him like a $50 million fine. I don't think so. I think the outcome here is, um, this is, <laughs> the, the, the feeling I get is this is Trump's appeal. You know, it, Trump's going to be greatly diminished in, um, in stature because of this ruling. Um, Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let me back up. <laughs> Too much time's gone by. I know Alina Haba represented him in the E. Jean Carroll case. Um, I was wondering if this is, if this is Alina, is Alina Haba. She, you know, she messed him up big time in the E. Jean Carroll case. With this case, she think she was also, yeah, she was also one of the lawyers on this one too. Um, I think Alina, it, basically, I think Trump was not well represented by his lawyers. Yeah. Trump was not well represented by his lawyers and he's going to pay big time. For that he didn't have big t you had a big time judge you needed big time lawyers you had small time lawyers and this is this is you, you, basically you made your own bed and now you got to sleep in it because of how you treated lawyers in the past yeah okay this is going to be that's so that's your current energy around this this is going to be uh this is going to be a hard time for for donald there <laughs> Page of Swords, that, that'd be funny. It's, it's not quite Melania, but it could also be Melania, too. <laughs> there's there's going to be a lot of women leaving Donald Trump's life when he has no money left, you know? No reason for Melania to stick around. No reason for his kids to stick around. Dad's broke. He's only sticking around out of love. <laughs> uh, I wonder if he could even... If you were to ask him... I wonder if he could tell you his kids' birthdays. I wonder if he could tell you their middle names. Well, he might know that. Might. He probably couldn't tell you their favorite ice cream, their favorite desserts, or their favorite meals. Okay. Um, how much? <laughs> Spirit. Just for this, for this trial, when Judge Engeron announces um, the settlement... The disgorgement for uh, this trial. 
ballpark how much is he going to announce so are we talking 400 million you know 500 million we're talking uh 370 was what she was asking are we gonna get one 370 we're gonna get 400 500 just this not the eugene carroll stuff not the the other loan just this one case page of swords that's not a number <laughs> That's Alina Haba. <laughs> Maybe we should ask Alina Haba what it should be. Page of Pentacles. Oh God, he's being reduced. He's got. He's. You know what I think this is. Oh, you know what this is on this outcome. He's diminished. He's got. No, he's got no ability to fight back now. He's got so little money that he's reduced in his ability to fight this case, appeal this case and fight future cases. I think that's what this is telling me. So it may not give me the amount, but it's it's enough that he's so diminished that he is in a very uncomfortable and unfamiliar position of not having the biggest stick to fight with. He has to use, now use his intelligence because he doesn't have unlimited resources. Donald Trump having to use his intelligence to fight his way out of something is not exactly a recipe for success. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles. I think he's going to be diminished money-wise. He'll go forward with his money messages, looking for his donors to bail him out. You know, I still don't understand why so many people are willing to give a, a billionaire who's so incredibly wealthy with his $10 billion uh, a bunch of money. But it might also be that, <laughs> does he try to negotiate it down? Does, he has to sell. He definitely has to sell stuff. There's that two of wands. Um, this came up as underneath Judge Ungaran's plan. And I think this is part of it. I think he understands that when he's when he gives his ruling, <clears throat> I think he's going to do enough that it doesn't necessarily bankrupt Trump, but it diminishes him so much that he's not a threat. And he, again, he has to go uh, uh, other places for it. The star card. Um, Trump's star has fallen. Uh, he's a, he's going to be a falling star on this one. And the other thing with this one, it's, it, it came underneath with Engeron, but, you know, Trump's going to have to, you know, he has to think, rethink his plans because he can't appeal. If he doesn't have the money, he can't appeal. Um his star power is is gonna is gonna collapse. This is the calm after the storm. Um, when this is all said and done, he is really really diminished. Temperance, um, detoxification, purification. I think this this to me is the disgorgement. Like you have too much in your cup. We're gonna pour it into this other cup here because. You've you've taken more than you deserve, and it's time. This is your disgorgement. This it's time for you to empty your cup on this one. Okay, so this is not giving me a dollar amount. This is just giving me the energy that what this whatever the dollar amount is, and maybe that's the message here. Whatever the dollar amount is, it's um, it's the right amount of money taken from him to humble him without victimite without him being a total victim you know what i mean like you know people aren't going to take to the streets and riot about this really unfair judge and this really unfair uh uh ruling against trump and his assets but it doesn't give me a dollar amount spirit would you like to give me a dollar amount well, I would like me like to like you to give us a dollar amount. Maybe it's not relevant. Well, we can ask though. All right. Um, will it be more than what uh, Letitia James? Will it be? Letitia James is asking for three hundred seventy million dollars. Will it be more than three hundred seventy million dollars? Maybe we can get an answer now. There's that seven again. <laughs> this is the card I think I got the last time when I was telling you it was like uh, seven hundred million dollars. Um, yeah, again, there's that seven. This is that number came up again. It's the evaluation. Let's see if there's a range. 
Ace of Wands. It's almost like if he does, if it really is seven hundred million dollars, it's really to send the message. It's you know the fraud was so big and so egregious that they took the big stick out, and it's almost like um, if Judge Engeron went digging through the statutes trying to find the ma a way to maximize the amount of money he could disgorge from from Team Trump and then got the biggest stick he could get to beat all the berries, all the money berries out of that bush. Look, there's another seven. <laughs> Fighting from a position of advantage. More wands. He is, the number that he decides, which might be 700 million if we have the sevens there, that seven is telling me that he can defend it. He did the research. He can defend it. It's justifiable. It's a lot. It's maybe more than anyone's expecting, but he can justify it. Because of the amount. Look at that. Ace of swords and ace of wands on either side of him. Yeah, he's feeling righteous. He's feeling... <laughs> uh, empowered and he's taking it underneath is the two of swords um the decisions the uh it's kind of like the blind justice it's the the paths to take here um i'm not i mean again i'm not convinced that this isn't the total amount that gets you know with the from the almost 100 million dollars that eugene carroll has in the you know 50 to 100 million dollars that um he has from that second fraud case. There could be more fraud that they uncover. If if the ruling from Judge Engeron isn't seven hundred million dollars, um, when he finally rules in like at the end of this week, um, it could be that it, it'll total seven hundred million dollars. But I keep getting those sevens there, man. Underneath is the two of swords. Um, you know, decisions he had to make. It's almost like he took that 370 and doubled it. I don't know if he could um I don't know if he could take that loan into account. It almost seems like it would be a second trial. But no, it's going to be it's going to be a big hit and you know, again, forgive me if I'm wrong for saying 700 million, but this is the same damn card I got the last time I was reading on that one. And now I've got two sevens and a seven underneath it like he can defend it. <laughs> okay wow um if trump were to appeal this decision would he have to turn to overseas money to get it will or I should say more to the point will trump get overseas money to help him appeal this or eh, maybe that's being way too specific Will Trump successfully uh, come up with the collateral so that he can file an appeal against this ruling? Oh, God, he's going to scream. Will Trump, Trump, oh, how about this? Give me the energy around Trump's appeal. You know, that, let's shuffle a little bit more here so we make sure that, that we've got what we've got. Give me the energy around after this decision is made about Trump's appeal, what's the energy around that? Is he going to have the money? Is he going to be able to come up with collateral? Is he going to be able to appeal at all? Or can he not do it because he's just, he's broke? King of Cups. <laughs> He'll ask Biden for a loan. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just make this Judge Engeron as the, or yeah, this is Judge Engeron and his decision there. You know, the judge has made his decision. Illusions, solutions. Well, this could also be Trump having a melt, an emotional meltdown here. Also, oh, hmm. the other thing that comes to mind, if this is a, a, a Patreon or a patron that's overseas, you got the water here, so a king overseas. Yeah, okay. I like that better. This would be like, you know, going to MBS and saying, hey, bro. Can you float me a billion dollars so I can challenge uh, <laughs> so I can challenge uh, this ruling? I don't think MBS is 
really going to give up the uh, the hedge fund that he has Jared Kushner managing. I don't think he's ready to give that up yet. Um, it's almost like there are people overseas, Putin, MBS, uh, others, that are looking at Trump. He's going to reach out to them, and they're going to look at the sunk cost gains of supporting this. Is it really worth... <laughs> what can he possibly give us that makes it worth us supporting him? And coming to his rescue. I do believe Trump is going to ask for overseas support. He's not supposed to, but I think he's going to do that anyways. And then they have to decide, is he worth supporting? But it's going to be part of the plan. He's going to reach out. Again, it's funny with those wands. you got the pyramids on there. So that leads me to believe Saudi Arabia and such. In the past lovers. Okay, this, whoever he appeals to, it's somebody he's had a relationship with. Kim Jong-un? Oh, wait, no, he owes Kim Jong-un millions and won't pay him back. I don't think Kim Jong-un's coming to his, his rescue here. So uh, it's not Kim Jong-un, but it's somebody who he's, he's, he's cultivated a relationship with in the past and has done, no, given things and now is going to expect stuff in return. <clears throat> Current situation is the hangman. Trump is hung out to dry, and then this person has to decide... You know, <laughs> um, a couple of things. If I help him out and he doesn't get elected, I'm screwed. I'll be out all that money. And do I really want to be out all that money? Uh, you know, do, does this person sacrifice himself to give Trump the money because of past favors? Or does he say, well, yeah, I might be able to help you out here, but I need, a, I need some favors here too. So... Uh, who, whatever decision this person makes, they're going to be doing what's ever in their best interest with what Trump can deliver. Trump's basically in, in a bad position here. Overarching energy. It's the victory card. Huh, interesting. Six of Wands. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Part of the contemplation here is what's the probability that Trump can actually win this case? Because really, in the end of the day, why would you put up all this money on appeal? Because if you put all that money up and Trump doesn't win the appeal, you've, you've basically paid Trump's fine for him with the state of New York, right? Because that's the whole point of the bond. This could also be a bond agent, right? So you're taking a bunch of risk on here too. Um, <clears throat> somebody might put up bond money and they might think, okay, well, you know, I'm, I'm mitigating risk here. But again, Trump, if Trump loses this case, you're going to be out that bond money. <laughs> you're going to be paying. And what's the likelihood Trump's going to win this case? It's probably not really strong. Overarching energy is the Ten of Swords here. If he doesn't win this case, he's done and dusted. Lesson to be learned. Ten of Swords. If you support him, you're not getting it back. And I hope that's not your life savings too because you're never going to see that money again and Trump will soon forget that you ever helped him out. Outcome is the Four of Cups. Offers he doesn't want. Um... Will, will he get overseas money? I think that overseas money may be offered, but it's for things that Trump can't deliver on. And they're also going to think about um, this. So they might offer to put up some, some bond, help him, help him with it, maybe help with some bond money or something like that. But they don't want to, they want to give him like 25% of what he's asking. And for Trump, it's not good enough. It's got to be all of it or none of it from his point of view. Or Trump is offering them things that he thinks are valuable. And then this person's like, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think he's going to get the money. I do not think that he's going to get the money. Um, and again, if somebody puts up a bond... Um, the 25% that 
uh, Trump would offer to put up, no bond company, or I should say, no bond company should want to do that. I guess uh, there are some really big ones out there, but that's a huge risk for a man that is notorious for not paying his bills and fighting everything in court. Do you really want to tie your, hitch your wagon to somebody like that? I wouldn't. And if I were on the board or anything along those lines of a company that's got that, you know, again, they play a different game of power and their wealth and power is beyond our comprehensions and things are about you know, power tokens and things along those lines. But at the same time, what is Trump but a, a failed wannabe dictator? And so do you really want to pay $700 million of his debt? You know, you're going to be stuck holding that bag, even if it's a, you know, a, a $150 million bond. You know, when he loses, you're out that $150 million or you're out that whole bond. And now you have to come up with the money to pay for it. And you're going to look at him and say, hey, your bond, your debts, you're going to sell your properties and pay for it. He's not going to do it. Why would he? He's never had to pay a debt in his life. Why would he start now? It's not like he's going to say, oh, shucks, I guess you're right. I guess I'm going to have to sell Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> you know, go ahead, sell Mar-a-Lago. You, you think it's worth $1.5 billion. Go for it. See what you get. Do you get 1.5 or 15? Somebody's right. Somebody's wrong when you're that far off. <laughs> I'm here for it. I am here for it. Um, no, we'll leave it there. We'll, we'll read on any health events after uh, after the announcement. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. One quick one. Empress. <laughs> he's gonna need, he's gonna need a nurse. Or oh oh <laughs> Melania. Yeah, the next next thing up is Melania on that one. That money goes. A lot. His 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 baby mama goes too. Um, I did, by the way, find the uh, the Terra's Apprentice uh, reading, and it was like you know what happened. His original reading was what happens on Trump's last days, and he put it up in two thousand nineteen or twenty twenty. It's four years ago, and the implication was his last days of his presidency in twenty twenty, but. Everything that Johnny was seeing, well, not everything, but some of the stuff he was seeing would be happening now. You know, one of the ones was Melania, um, Trump and Melania having a divorce. Another was a big bribery case. And I think uh, the gold bars of Senator Menendez may qualify as, as a big bribery case. I'll, um, I'll put a link in the description. I'm going to throw something on the community page. I kind of want to boost that post of Johnny's because I think... If uh, if Johnny was right, he might have just been, you know, reading correctly, but it was four years in the future, not four months in the future. So we'll see on that one. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes and your shares and everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so my video makes it out to a wider audience. To folks just discovering this channel, welcome. Glad you found us. Hope you found this reading insightful, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.